Google is going head to head with Pinterest. They just dropped their new tool called Google Mix Board. It's an AI concepting board, which basically lets you try out different ideas, combine them together, and then see them all together in one spot. It's a pretty crazy idea, but having a lot of fun with it. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to access it, how to use it, and my general thoughts about whether or not you should be using it. So let's get right into it. So to get started, all you have to do is plug in this URL or just search Google for Google Mixboard. It'll bring you here and I'll give you some examples of what you can do. We're gonna hit get started and here it's gonna show you all your recent projects. So we're gonna go over to new project and we'll start from scratch. And the best part of this is it is for free while it's in beta. If you're in the US, you can actually access this now. So go ahead and try it out. And how it works is you basically prompt out whatever you're working on. Let's say I'm working on a rendering and I need inspiration for a living room design. So what I'm gonna do is let's do design a living room in mid-century style. And this is all using Nano Banana. So in about 10 seconds or so, we're not speeding this up, it's gonna be able to generate a board full of images related to that concept. So look at this, it's all doing this in tandem, which is crazy because it's very, very quick. And here you go, we're beginning to see ideas to give you inspiration. So instead of you going to Pinterest and like searching for all these different options and then adding them to your boards, you basically just ask it what you want and you get it right here. So it's actually pretty handy. So now here's where things get a little crazy in my opinion. Because it's using Nano Banana, it's not just like a simple concept board like Pinterest, it's actually really intelligent. So what I can do is I can grab this fabric over here. And if I select these two, the chair and the fabric, I can say, add this pattern fabric to the chair. And what it'll do is it'll actually revise this image and use that fabric as part of the new image that you could see generating over here. So you're not just stuck with what you're given with, you can actually start refining. And I think that's what makes this really powerful because now you can actually just keep riffing and improving your overall design. So once you have an image, you can actually regenerate if you wanna do more options. You can do more like this if you want more inspiration. You can remove the background. I'll show you what that looks like. And it'll give you an option there. You could copy it and then you could download it. So here, now I have basically a PNG and then I could drop this into any tool that I'm using for presentations. Maybe I drop into PowerPoint or Canva or slides or whatever, but it's ready to go. You can see like it's a pretty, it's a pretty good edge clean. It's not perfect in terms of the masking, but I think for like 90% of users, this is totally fine. So as you can see, that's working really, really well. So that we did a little fabric change. Well, let's say we want to add something into a scene. So what I could say is, if I want, I can grab these two and say, add the plant into this room. So what's fun about this is like anything on your board, you can just start to mash ideas and you can also upload your own images as well. You would do that right over here. So you're not just bound to whatever Nano Banana makes. So you can see it added it here. One thing I will say in general is sometimes the scale is good. Sometimes the scale is not that great. So you can see it looks a little funky. I'll zoom in for you so you can kind of see what's going on, but not perfect, but the idea still stands that you're able to merge. So I could do the same thing with this lamp, right? Add the lamp to the table. And I'm just giving it simple English instructions, right? Like we're not getting too crazy. You know, basically how you would explain it to a person. It's able to do a pretty good job about understanding it. So here we go. And what's incredible about this is it actually rotated the camera position of the lamp. So like here we have a side profile, but here it's more like an aerial and it's lighting up the vase here. So very, very cool. Let me zoom in just so you could see that. Like that's, that's really, really cool. I mean, it screwed up a little bit with the cable, which I feel like should be the, the easiest part, but overall very, very crazy. If you're having a lot of fun with Nano Banana and you need some extra guidance, I actually wrote a free prompt guide. I have a link in the description below basically break down the strategy of uh, how you should be prompting. And I give you a lot of use cases as well as, you know, examples of before and afters. So be sure to check that out again, totally free link in the description and let's get back to the video. That's an example for interiors. Well, let's say you wanted to do exteriors. What would that look like? So you could, so you could just go over here to back and do a new project. And let's say 
I'm designing a new modern house in the countryside. Give me front elevation inspiration. So now again, we're going to wait our 10 or so seconds and we're going to get a whole board full of ideas. And here we go. It starts to load in. So now that I've got this board here, you know, as an architect, this is super useful. It gives me a bunch of different ideas. You know, some are more contemporary and modern than others, but it's nice to see it all in one spot, especially with the different materials and lighting. And, you know, I was showing you before how to add things, but you can actually modify images that are here. So here I've just selected one image and I can say, make this a sunny day just like you would with typical Nano Banana in Gemini, you can edit specific images. You don't always need to mash, but the mashing is fun and really cool. So while that's baking there, oh wow, no, it already came out. Um, you can see like, hey, this is ready to go. Uh, if you want to like do different variations, what I recommend is you could do a copy. So you basically duplicate it, or you could do more like this and it'll do another like option, but I like having a copy that way you can kind of see like the before and after. So just make sure you're doing that. Um, and if you do like any of these edits, you can go ahead and just download that. So that is there as an option. So the other cool thing is it can generate multiple options at once. So here I got three, which is really, really cool. I'm not bound to just one image. So let's talk about some mashing for the exteriors while I'm here. You know, I've got this cool stone here. Let's say I want to add it to this house. Let's try that. Add the stone texture to the second floor and let's see how this does. And I'm just giving it some context, you know, put it on this house, use the stone material. That way it knows you can also say like use the first reference image or use the second reference image to give it a target and all that. And as you can see here, we've got our stone right here. So pretty, pretty good job. That's pretty crazy. Actually, it didn't do, you know, a perfect job with this middle band, but it did a good job with the second floor. So, Overall, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with this. Um, I do think it needs probably a little bit more maturing in terms of like feature set. And what I mean by that is like, if I select all these, all these modules or nodes, I would like a way to like auto distribute or auto organize them because it can get a little crazy when you start asking it to generate different options. So if I say like, you know, give me three variations, actually give me five variations of this design. You're going to kind of get a little bit cluttered. Like it's going to keep adding more and more nodes on top of each other. If you hold down space bar, you can pan and everything, but you are limited in terms of your canvas. Like you don't have that much room and I feel like it can get a little, little cluttered, but especially when it's just overlaying. So, you know, that's something I'd like it to kind of add, but anyways, I think it's a, a really, promising first start at this idea of like prompting mood boards you know really curious to hear what you guys think i think it's it's really cool but anyways if you have questions about this please drop it in the comments i'll get back to you and as always please consider liking and subscribing to the channel helps me out and i'll see you next time